Heartbreaking images of dogs abandoned by a roadside, one of them inside a cage covered with wounds, the other tied up, both left to die unless the right person came along and decided to help. This is just one unique case, but as our Victor Williams reports, rescue groups see it as part of a larger trend that needs attention. It's hard to believe the condition in which these dogs were found. They were abandoned and left to die right here on the west side. But the rescue group that found them says it's not that surprising after all. Hi, it's OK. We got a call from an officer that said there was two dogs that needed rescuing. We rushed over and, and wanted to see what we could do to help. Juniper Fleming with Rebel Dogs Detroit insisting it's a miracle they were able to rescue a pair of dogs now named Crop Top and Buffalo. One of them was in a crate. Uh, and the other one was um, tied up next to the crate. The one that was in the crate was barking, very reactive, very scared, and he had lesions and wounds all over his body. Look closely at Buffalo's skin and he's covered with sores and elbow growth on his arm. His buddy Crop Top stayed by his side the entire time. A crop top is just as friendly as, as can be. This is crop top and buffalo just a few hours after their treatment. Good boy. I know it's kind of scary. It's OK. Juniper says this is one of the many examples of dogs being abandoned versus what happened during the initial outbreak of COVID-19. We're finding that um, as a rescue at the beginning of COVID, we saw a huge influx of people wanting to adopt dogs, which is incredible. We were able to rescue and adopt so quickly. Now we're getting way more calls um, about dogs that are found, dogs that people are trying to surrender, and we're not able to help because applications for adoption and fostering just aren't coming in at the same speed. Despite the harsh numbers, Rebel Dogs is doing what they can to help, opening up their own shelter on the west side. But even their rescues can be in jeopardy of coming to a standstill if more people don't foster. Regardless of that, they still want the city to do more about the strays on the street. There aren't a lot of resources uh, for surrendering dogs in need, especially dogs in need of medical care uh, within the city. So unfortunately, a lot of people resort to dumping them in a myriad of creative or not so creative ways. Well, it was a beautiful ending to at least this story, but once again, Rebel Dogs Detroit is looking for any type of fosters out there willing to apply. So if you do meet that criteria, head over to uh, clickondetroit.com as well as rebeldogsdetroit.com for information on how you can make a huge difference. Victor Williams, Local 4. And it's a great organization. Okay, Victor, thanks.